Fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks associated with spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can help change lives if you just want to work out of your home. If you're an entrepreneur, you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, you want to earn as much or as little money as you like working out of your home, writing off your home office, writing off your mileage, your stamps, enjoying all the tax benefits associated with having your own business for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for more information. You can also sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And, of course, if you'd like to check out our truth treatment products, they're all up at truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with blemishes or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, if you want to... Uh, to prevent or reverse the formation of fine lines and wrinkles. You want to take a look at our retinol 5% gel made with 5% retinol as well as a big dose of vitamin C, premium fat soluble vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, oils, emulsifiers, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We've got lines open for you, by the way, 844-236-6010. Excuse me. If you uh, have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. We have been talking about serotonin and melatonin and the pineal gland and its response to sunlight. We said the pineal gland is an eye in the middle of your head. It's a third eye. It reads the sunlight and secretes accordingly melatonin and the, uh, serotonin in the daytime and melatonin in the nighttime. Both are life management hormones, serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is involved with how we adjust to uh, the vicissitudes, the ups and downs of day-to-day -day life. It's an awareness hormone, a daytime hormone. Melatonin antagonizes serotonin. It's the opposite of serotonin. Even though chemically, from a chemical structure point of view, they're pretty darn similar, these two uh, uh, these two elements, melatonin and serotonin, these two biochemicals. But while the structures are very similar, their properties are very not similar, very, very anti-similar. In fact, they're opposites. Serotonin alertness and alertness and day-to-day -day -day life reactions, our ability to react to circumstances in life. Ser uh, when serotonin levels are low, our reactions are sluggish, they're slow, they're less effective. And sometimes the sluggish and slow way of reacting can be interpreted as apathy or perhaps depression. And this is why doctors will prescribe serotonin drugs for, um, for what they call depression. It's not so much that serotonin is an antidepressant as much as it's involved with helping us handle day-to-day -day stresses. It's not an anti, uh, serotonin is not a happy hormone. It's a stress management hormone, a, a life management hormone. And by the way, there's no such thing as a chemical imbalance. Let's get that nonsense out of our heads. If any doctor ever mentions chemical imbalances, that's a doctor that doesn't understand biochemistry. Chemical imbalances do not exist. Chemistry is always in a balance. It's always appropriate for what the body needs to do. We think it's inappropriate because of the net effect, but the body's always responding to the environment somehow. If we got too much stresses in our life, <coughs> excuse me, too much stresses in our life, the body will secrete hormones accordingly. But it doesn't mean that there's, the body's messed up, that there's an imbalance. That's a marketing term. It's not a scientific term. So Prozac is uh, a, a stress management substance. It's, a, it's not so much an anti-stress hormone as much as it helps us handle stresses. Melatonin is a relaxing substance. It's a nighttime substance. It's a growth and repair substance. It's involved in building. Unlike serotonin, which, like most hormones, can be toxic when levels get too high, and levels of serotonin don't get too high unless we medicate ourselves. They don't naturally get too high. But if you take too much drugs, too many drugs, or if you're combining drugs, combining serotonin reuptake inhibitor drugs, so-called, Effexor and, uh, and Zoloft and Prozac. I remember when Prozac came out in the 1980s. Oh, my God. Did that revolutionize the psychiatric business? All, all of a sudden, everybody was on Prozac. They were using Prozac as a diet pill even. They still do, actually, because serotonin, Prozac uh, has an appetite suppressant effect. Anyway, uh, melatonin, unlike serotonin, is completely non-toxic. In fact, melatonin is actually like a vitamin in many ways. According to Dr. Gary Bubenik, B-U-B-E-N-I-K, who's a melatonin researcher, According to Dr. Bubenik, writing in the book Melatonin and the Promotion of Health, this is a very interesting textbook if you're really interested in melatonin. It's a little, a little heady, 
a little scientific, but it's got some really good information. According to Dr. Bubenik, who wrote a, excuse me, wrote a chapter in this book, melatonin is actually part hormone and part vitamin. That's a quote, part hormone, part vitamin. I'm not making that up. Melatonin is actually has vitamin-like effects. It's an antioxidant. In fact, melatonin is such a powerful antioxidant that it is, uh, exceeds the antioxidant properties of uh, potential of vitamin E by several times. It's fat soluble, it can enter into cells, it enters into the brain, it's secreted into the placenta in the developing fetus, and it's secreted in mother's milk. Babies are getting melatonin in mother's milk. Now, you're not gonna find melatonin in your formula, so if you're uh, unfortunately not able to, to breastfeed, it's very gonna be very tough for your baby to get uh, everything it needs. There's so many components in breast milk that are not in formula. Formula just contains some of the nutrients that are in breast milk, but they're, the hormones and the trace elements, those are not going to be found in formula, including melatonin. And endocannabinoids, by the way. Cannabinoids being uh, uh, the active material in the marijuana plant or the hemp plant, if you will. Both uh, the marijuana plant and the hemp plant contain these cannabinoid substances, which are exactly the same as the cannabinoids that are found in human beings and exactly the same as the cannabinoids that are found in breast milk, not in formula. Melatonin is not just a brain substance either. It's not just for the brain and for the nervous system. In fact, check this out, melatonin is mostly a digestive biomolecule. It's mostly secreted in the digestive tract. Yes, it's a digestive, it's like a digestive aid, uh, a, a digestive aid. Now you gotta be careful because it does have some hormone properties and I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not advising and I don't support just taking a whole bunch of melatonin, but you might wanna think about it if you're dealing with digestive health issues, whatever they may be, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, even GERD. Gastroesophageal reflux disease. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I'm here to tell you about GCNTelecare.com, a team of board-certified doctors assisting you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Within 15 minutes of registration, care your family can afford. Revolutionizing the healthcare industry, virtual consulting, providing diagnosis of non-emergency medical issues by phone or secure video on computer or smart mobile devices. GCNTelecare.com, virtual care anywhere. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest priced filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. Childhood is full of wonder, and we get the chance to relive it with our grandchildren every day. But imagine missing special moments with a grandchild or seeing them through cloudy vision. The Foundation Fighting Blindness can help by providing valuable information about diagnosing and treating AMD. Age-related macular degeneration is the leading cause of vision loss in people 55 and older, but it doesn't have to be. The Foundation Fighting Blindness is driving research and saving sight by providing information about diagnosing and treating AMD. Don't miss a moment of your grandchildren's youthful wonder because of poor vision. Learn more about vision-saving preventions and treatments. Call the Foundation Fighting Blindness today at 1-800-BLINDNESS for a free packet on reversing or managing AMD. Or go to the website fightblindness.org where you can find so much helpful information. Call 1-800-BLINDNESS today. That number again is 1-800-BLINDNESS or fightblindness.org. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the Federal Tax Management Helpline that has been set up for you, 800-503-8625. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly 
reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. If you owe more than $10,000 in taxes, call for free information and to see if you qualify. Take down the number now for the Federal Tax Management Hotline, 800-503-8625. That's 800-503-8625. 800-503-8625. Warning. If you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back, because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt-free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now. 1-800-959-5759. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now. 1-800-959-5759. That's 1-800-959-5759. 1-800-959-5759. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to NutraMedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutralized the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888 212 8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about uh, anything we're speaking about here today, cortisol, melatonin, stress, if you have a health challenge you or a loved one may need help dealing with, or if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about our truth treatment products or ingredients or formulations or something you may have heard about or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. From the British Medical Journal, study suggests a link between a food group and cancer, a special food group, a food group we all eat too much of, a food group called highly processed foods. I call it a food group. It's not a good food group. Highly processed foods, according to the British Medical Journal, have been associated with various forms of cancer. It's uh, thought that 50% of our daily energy intake comes from highly processed foods. Not processed foods, highly processed foods. That is foods that don't even look, uh, they're not even really foods. The only reason they're foods is because they have the components of food, but they're not really foods. A highly processed food is not really a food. It has the components of a food, but it's not really a food to the body. The body has a lot of work that it has to do to deal with a highly processed food. Processing in general, processing any food, is really disrupting or destroying that kind of food. Even the processing of grains with a stone, which began about 10,000 years ago, or maybe 12,000 years ago, when they figured out that they could grind grains and make the nutrients inside accessible, that's really when our health disasters, our health disaster, our chronic health disease, a chronic degenerative disease health disaster began. It really began 12,000 years ago. It became accelerated as we learned to process food more and more effectively. Today, we can process food so effectively 
effectively that we can do it in a test tube. They have test tube meat. Literally, test tube meat. You can 3D print food now. That's how technologically advanced food processing has become. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that if you're trying to make a body who's existed for hundreds of thousands and millions of years on one kind of food, and now you try to give it a completely different food, a non-food, that you're going to have a health problem. You're going to have lots of health problems. It probably is. Our reliance on highly processed food is probably the number one cause of degenerative diseases. The number one cause is our reliance on highly processed food, period. This is one reason why the less you eat, the longer you live. No matter what you're eating, the less you eat, the longer you're going to live. But certainly the less highly processed food you eat, the longer you're going to live. And uh, it's just a part and parcel of our 21st century culture. There's, we have created a food supply that the body doesn't know what the heck to do with. And it should come as no surprise that we are so overweight and so cancer-ridden and so darn sick because we're all trying to exist on this kind of food. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Let's go to Tom in Idaho and say good morning. What's up, Tom? How you doing? Good, and yourself? I'm um, doing well. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Two weeks ago, I had been fused in the S1, L4 region. The doctor said he didn't do a den bone density test, but during surgery discovered I had soft bones. Okay. Okie doke. You, you're degenerating, that's all. Your body's deteriorating. I, I, mean, I don't mean to sound harsh, and I don't mean to be alarming, but that's basically what happens. The bone, the bone tissue, bone is hardened by interaction between minerals and protein. So uh, when you eat minerals, a certain the body transforms those minerals, activates those minerals, they interact with the protein, and you get strong bones. It's as simple as that. But if you don't make the protein, that is collagen, or you don't have the minerals, uh, which many of us don't, you're going to have soft bones. So first and foremost, you've got to get on vitamin C because that's your main collagen builder right there. I'd be doing I high doses of it. I, I do do high doses. But Good. Stay with it. And then the BTT, also the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Also, some minerals can be helpful for you. Magnesium, for example, is super important. Zinc is very important. Mineral called Take that also. Okay. Well, keep, don't, you know, you're, that's great that you're taking it. I'm just telling you the stuff that's important. Okay? Clearly, you're missing something. So we don't know what that is, but there's a lot of things we can explore here. Strontium, magnesium, zinc. Calcium is also important. You got to make sure your body's utilizing calcium. That takes vitamin D. So you got to make sure that you're getting a good uh, source of vitamin D. The sun is the best. If you're in Idaho, you're probably not going to get too much sun. In the wintertime, you may want to get a sun lamp. In fact, that's what I would definitely do is get a sun lamp. You can get vitamin D capsules and you can get vitamin D uh, from fish oil, and that's okay. But the best way is to make your own, a sun lamp, okay, uh, if that's for the vitamin D and the calcium. And then uh, also you want to make sure that you are not uh, you're, have a good source of protein. Uh, I like bone broth protein. I'd be doing bone broth bone broth protein every day. Also something called high al uronic acid, which you probably heard of, maybe two or three hundred milligrams a day. day. Good deal. <laughs> Six hundred you sounds like you're doing great, but you're missing something if you got soft bones. How old are you by the way? Sixty-nine. Okay. All right. So you're right there. It's not like you have to have soft bones, but it's understandable that you would. So continuing, um, you also want to have a couple, uh, make sure you're getting enough of the building nutrients, especially vitamin A, along with zinc, which we mentioned earlier. If you said you're already doing that. Twenty thousand IU of vitamin A, uh, and then the bone broth protein, as I say, liquid silica gel, and then chicken soup, and then glucosamine. And also the stuff that you don't want to put in, and that is sugar, which will soften the bones, uh, processed foods, which will have a soft bone softening effect, especially if there's sugar in there. And then uh, uh, tra uh, trans fats and hydrogenated fats and fried fats are also the enemy of bone. And speaking of the bad fats, you want to make sure you're getting the good fats, which is the EFAs. That would be all in your healthy start pack. So it's a combination of what you're putting in and what you're not putting in. And rest assured that the bones are soft because the wrong stuff is getting in and the right stuff is isn't. Last but not least, definitely not least, if you're not already jumping on a rebounder or doing some kind of movement, uh, some kind of a, a resistance on the bones, running, treadmill, stairs, something that uh, weights, squats or deadlifts or something along those lines, something that puts uh, some resistance on the bones. The bones respond to resistance by getting harder, especially in the presence of nutrition. All right, Tom, God bless you, my friend. Uh, I'm sure you, it sounds like, you, it sounds like you're on the right track. Yes, sir. One more question, if I may. Yes. Um, I didn't take any painkillers doing this thing, but I had been taking methyl carbon, which is a muscle relaxer. Yes. And I stopped 
it the other day because I didn't notice any difference. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, boy, it's definitely you want to avoid all all drugs, especially if you already got soft bones. The more nutri- the more drugs your body's taking, the more resources it's taking away from your bones to the liver to detoxify the drugs. So, what would you rather do? Have the nutrients going to your bones to build strong bones, or to the liver to get rid of the poison? Pretty obvious, right? Yes. All right, Tom. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Bill in Rhode Island. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Yes, good morning. How are you? Nice to be speaking with you. Nice to speak, be speaking with you as well. Where in Rhode Island are you? I'm in uh, Greenville, Rhode Island. Is that near Family Guy? Wait, no. who, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Where's, uh, where's Greenville? I love Rhode Island, by the way. Uh, I'm... Let's say about an hour from Boston, north of Boston. Uh, okay, are you on the coast? Not that far from it. I'm about okay. 40 minutes from it. That's some so beautiful for us, country. that's a long, long way, but for you, that would be nothing. Yeah, it's nothing, but it's really beautiful. I, I'm yeah, a fan. Yeah, it is. It is very nice there. So what's going on? I have a couple of questions not specific to me, so if we go into commercial and you bring me back, that would be fine. Okay. The first question is, uh, do you have any particular water filter system that you would like? I know you said um, you won't speak about it, but you haven't Yeah, I know. Yet. I haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. The Berkey is my favorite. Uh, How about reverse osmosis? I love reverse osmosis. And now they have these reverse osmosis machines you can rent, I, somebody was telling me. You, for like a certain amount of month, 30 bucks a month, you can keep in your house. And they're great. I love re- re- reverse osmosis might even be better than distilled, but they're both really good. All right. Hang on, Bill. We'll take a break and uh, we'll be back on the bright side right after this. Got uh, open lines. 844-236-6010. We'll return right after Water. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We're talking to Bill in Rhode Island. Okay, so uh, reverse osmosis uh, distilled. I like them both. Uh, it's easier for me to get distilled water, so I, that's what I u- usually use. But RO is definitely good water. Uh, let's see, Dasani water is RO. That's the Coca Cola, I think, makes Dasani water. Also, Aquafina. That's Pepsi. They, uh, those are both reverse osmosis waters. Um, they're both. <coughs> excuse me. They're both good, though. Does that answer your question? Re- reverse osmosis. It, it does get rid of fluoride. Uh, they say. I'm pretty sure that that it does get rid of fluoride, and and I know distilled does. Um, You know, the thing about the reverse osmosis is uh, if you have your one of those home home RO machines, you got to keep the filter clean and changed and make sure it's fresh. Once the filter starts to break down, uh, that's when you run into problems. And I guess you don't always know. It doesn't break down instantly. It breaks down gradually, and so you're going to lose less and less of the RO purification over time. Uh, it's, you know, personally, I buy gallon jugs of it. That's that's my take on it. Uh, let me what ask I, you, uh, the coconut, I know, I hear you speak about coconut oil. How uh-huh. about just eating the coconut? Well, it's great, but the oil is, when you do the oil, you get the concentrated fat. There's a little bit of fat in coconut. Coconut is an awesome food, no doubt about it. Coconut is a tremendously valuable food. I mean, I mean over the top, maybe one of the most valuable f- 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 fruits on the planet, I, I think it, I can't think of one more valuable for all the stuff you get out of a coconut. Wonderfully nutritional, tastes great. Uh, it's a, a good source of the fats, obviously, and vitamin E and and uh, something called kinetin, which is really powerful protein, anti wrinkle protein. It, it's just amazing stuff, the coconut, and I am a big fan. And I'm also a big fan of coconut oil, although uh, I know I, that's kind of controversial. But, I know. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm a fan. You, I mean, it's a great oil to cook with, and I've had it now. I've had coconut oil in my lab for years, and it's been stayed stable. So uh, I'm definitely a fan of coconut oil. Bacon, good food or bad food? Say again? Oh, Bacon. bacon's a awful, one of the most awful foods on the planet. God-awful food. No redeeming value. Very, uh, slight amount of protein. Just an awful food. Awful, awful, awful food. It, in fact, it's in the top ten list of awful foods. Uh, right there with, it's not as bad as potato chips, but it's in the same league. All right, now here's the big question. Uh, do you, I think you may know a gentleman by the name of, um, I think you've had him as a, as a guest. Uh, McKinney, I believe his name is. Kilmer McCulley? I'm the not B, sure. But the vitamin B guy? Uh, he was a scientist. James yeah. McKinney, I believe it is. What he, what's his specialty? Well, uh, he's a scientist, and uh, here's, the t- here's the two dichotomies. On your particular station, GCN, there's yeah. a Dr. Jack Stockwell who says, when I emailed him, he said, don't be afraid to eat wild salmon. Anything that uh, they've heard, like mercury and all those particular toxins, will be taken out by the body. 
you get much more benefit from eating the fish than not eating the fish. I agree with him. I, now, I agree James with him. James McKinney says because of Fukushima uh, and because of the radiation that the uh -huh. mercury ends up being part of the radiation, they kind of link up together. He said, I definitely would not eat any fish you know, because it's too they're both dangerous. Right. They're both right. They're both right. So what I, do we I, do? Here's what you, I, I say eat the fish because you're living in a toxic, deadly toxic environment, okay? Uh -huh. You've got to scratch off a certain amount of years off your life, and you've got to add a certain amount of risk per percentage that you're going to get a disease just by being alive. As it turns out, the nutrients in fish can have, have some protective effects against radiation, particularly the selenium and the sulfur. So you could go either way. I, I don't know the answer to it, but I know that we have to just give up a certain amount of our life and a certain amount of our health because of the toxicity in our environment that we are all responsible for, not just the government. We are all responsible for the trashing of planet Earth. It is a horrific story. It's just the way it is, and we got to live with it. And that being said, there's so many valuable things in fish. I'm going with it. I mean, I, and it's like it's like the oil too. You know, I think we should have oils. There's so many good things in oils, but you got to be careful with them. Right. As far as fish goes, it's just too valuable a food on a planet where we don't have a lot of really valuable food. And my last question is, you were talking about melatonin, and at one point I heard you say that you, you were a little bit suspect about having it continuously. Yeah. So are you saying we should take it for a month and then back off? Not a month, month, no, like five days a week, four days a week kind of thing. You know, or maybe oh, okay. so maybe you one. You have to figure out where that, where that spot is for you, but missing days here and there. Not a whole month. No, I don't. I don't go a whole month without it. Personally, All it's right. a great so antioxidant. Its levels drop as we get older. It blocks cortisol. There's some really good things about it, but it is a hormone. It's not like a nutrient, and so you got to be a little bit respectful of it. And with hormones, resistance is a very easy thing to happen. Like we we're saying, cortisol and insulin. All these hormones can be we can be resistant to it. You don't want to be resistant to melatonin. So keep the body on its toes, so the body doesn't know when the melatonin is coming. So four days on, three days off would be fine. Yep, that's fine. That kind of thing. Alrighty. Okay. Thank you so much, Bill. Appreciate it. And uh, I know. have a great day in Rhode Island. Bye-bye. All right. Elaine in Alaska. Good morning. What's up, Elaine? Hey, we're just getting ready for the Iditarod up here. Oh, you are? Do you have a, do you have a dog in, the, in that race? I have uh, clients who they, okay. uh, they race in. It's like 1,200 miles on a dog sled. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. Well, that's the world of Alaska, I guess. It's probably yeah. normal in Alaska. I've got a client. She is, uh, tr you know, trying to do the BTT, but she's consistently inconsistent. Okay. Uh, part of the reason she said, well, she has anemia. She's, you know, low in iron, and then she noticed the BTT being so low in iron. So, any so she's, uh, people have this this silly, misguided doctor idea that uh, you take iron for your anemia, and you need iron for your anemia. And iron is best gotten from food, first of all, meat, especially if you're a meat eater or, or fish, for that matter. Uh, and then anemia needs to be regarded as a building problem, not an iron problem. Not you got to be very careful with iron. Iron is a double-edged sword, and too much iron, iron has to be tightly controlled in the body. If your liver's messed up, and, and for most of us it is, or many of us it is, you're not going to be able to control iron's negative, negative effects. I, I would be very careful with iron in a supplement, number one. Number two, anemia needs to be regarded as the body shutting down, the body decaying and deteriorating. And that means building, reducing intake of sugar, processed foods, anything that puts a burden on the body, and then using building nutrition, especially the B vitamins, which are extremely important for building red blood cells. Uh, it, and this idea that I, anemia is an iron problem is a misguided and just biochemically ignorant medical strategy where you just put iron into the system if, if you're anemic. It doesn't work that way. Iron's important, obviously. Best source of iron is going to be food. You got to be careful with iron supplements. Treat anemia as a building problem. And that means all your building nutrients and keeping all the anti-building stuff out. And that includes cortisol, by the way. Um, I want to get one more call in, Natalie. I hope I, oh, I'm sorry, Elaine. I want to get Natalie on. I hope I helped you out. Thanks for your call. Uh, you're going to get the last word here, Natalie. Good morning and welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Len. Thank you for taking my call. Um, so I'm calling uh, about acne. I was currently taking Accutane for a while, say about a month or a half, and um, my face has been clearing up, and it's been drying everything out, and which is good. Uh, but before that, I, I got in your uh, program where I was taking vitamin A and zinc and everything, and 
um, it was helping out, but not as much, not as much as Accutane did. And now I'm just having some issues with um, pressure in my chest and kind of yeah. psychological issues. Time comes to pay the piper now. You made a deal with so, the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you made a deal with the yeah. devil. Accutane is the devil. There's no doubt about it. It's an awful drug. Uh, it dries out sebum. And without sebum, you can't really have blemishes. So that's the doctor's strategy. In fact, they will actually tell you to not take vitamin A when you're taking Accutane, meaning and the that you're... the thing was, I did, actually, a little bit on my skin. They said, don't ever put any retinol oil or anything yeah. like that, and I did. Yeah. But it yeah. didn't do anything. Like it no, 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 no. Here's the deal. How old are you? I'm 29. Okay, well, you, are you breaking out really bad? Is it significant? Um, You know what? It reduced so, so much. Right no, now, no, without the Accutane. Of... Without the Accutane, were your breakouts really bad? No, no, actually. I, I mean, I started getting, like... Was it like little garden variety pimple? I'm, I'm going to run out of time, so let me ask you some questions real quick. Were they garden variety pimples, yes or no? Yeah. Are they T-zone, yes or no? No. Cheek area, yes or no? Yes, digestive. Okay, I know, there you, I tried doing that. For, there you go. There you go. Help. Well, no, you didn't do it enough because you wouldn't need the Accutane. All right. The the, uh, the lymph fat you have a concentration of lymph right in that cheek area. It's not mm -hmm. sebaceous. It doesn't mean it's not sebum and it's not uh, vitamin. It's not uh, uh, overgrowth of cells like regular acne. Look to the digestive system fast. And the reason this is important, Natalie, is because you may have controlled the acne with the Accutane, but you still got the problem. And this is gonna. You're only 29, so you don't know this, but you're you've hit the wall, and you're only gonna know in retrospect. At the age of 28 or 29, your health starts to decline. If you haven't corrected a problem in a way uh, that it wasn't declining earlier. So you're at that point now, and you're going to start to notice things. And that's what's really, uh, really important to get to the bottom of your, of your uh, digestive health challenges. I wish we had more time. Natalie, we're going to talk about skin for the next few days. Uh, hopefully, you'll, uh, hopefully you can call back on uh, our next episode because I want to. That's a very interesting point we made. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our websites: BrightSideBen.com, PharmacistBen.com, and CriticalHealthNews.com for good health information and TruthTreatments.com for our Truth Skin Health products. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to y'all later. Bye for now.